It represented sacred symbols that carried the words of the gods and conveyed meaning through drawing symbols and sounds. The word hieroglyphics is a Greek term composed of two parts, hieros meaning sacred and glyphane meaning writing, thus its complete meaning is sacred writing. Hieroglyphics were used until the late 4th century ad, with changes in some of its terms over time. And its use stopped when the emperor Theodosius closed the temples and prohibited the worship of idols. Art, ancient Egyptians were known for tomb art and murals, believing that life continues after death. They decorated tombs to ensure that the dead enjoyed luxury after death. Egyptian art is also represented in carved statues made of rock, with metal coatings, drawings on house walls, and various geometric designs. Astronomy, the discovery of stone circles dates back to the 5th millennium BC and was used to predict floods in the Nile Valley. The Egyptians also developed a system of towers and a special calendar. Monuments, pyramids were built to bury pharaohs. They were square-shaped tombs made of limestone. The Egyptians built pyramids and placed treasures and decorations that the pharaoh needed to survive and enjoy comfort in the afterlife according to their beliefs. Archaeologists believe that the reason for the stairs in the pyramids was that the ancient Egyptians believed that they were used for the pharaoh to ascend to the god of the sun. The Egyptians built about 138 pyramids of varying sizes, with the largest being the Khufu Pyramid in Giza. Temples, temples were built to be homes for Egyptian gods. There were two types of temples, cultus temples, where specific gods resided, and funeral temples for the worship of dead pharaohs. Over time, the size of the temples increased to become large complexes that included new pharaohs. Each temple had a statue of the god who resided in it. Rosetta Stone The Rosetta Stone was discovered in 1799, and without it, archaeologists would not have been able to read the writings of the ancient Egyptians. And the Egyptian civilization would have remained unknown. The stone contains one textbook written in three different scripts arranged from top to bottom, hieroglyphics, demotic, and Greek. French archaeologist Jean-Francois Champollion obtained a copy of the stone, studied the writings on it, and after facing many hypotheses and challenges, announced in 1822 that he had deciphered the code of the ancient Egyptian language, laying the foundations for the ancient Egyptian language that hundreds of researchers around the world have since developed.